Aloha, everyone. How are you doing? This is Marissa Indigo, just coming in, uh, spontaneous, <laughs> amusing. Oh my gosh. Um, I just wanted to share that openness to spontaneous magic and the deep listening to invitations or inklings or little gentle nudges as a formula for experiencing magic and really having a good chuckle with the universe. The orchestration of things is can be so sublime when our hearts open. <laughs> oh, so I wanted to share, this is so funny. I'm just going on a quick errand to Trader Joe's and I was noticing and getting these kind of fun tickling sensations in my heart and kind of hearing like, don't listen to anything while you drive and just be open. I'm like, okay. So I, I like to listen to astrology while I drive or Abraham Hicks or podcasts, all kinds of stuff like while I drive around. So I'm told to take a very specific route to Trader Joe's other than what I would usually do. It's like, okay take fourth avenue i'm like okay and there's all these roundabouts which are so funny and what's really interesting about this area the pacific northwest where i am is i'm so grateful for this actually it's so different than california and la traffic and more kind of aggressive driving is most of the places around here downtown it's like 30 miles an hour on the roads so I always joke around like, well, first of all, driving here is much more joyous than where we were in Southern California um, because people are automatically going slower. <laughs> so you still have sometimes, you know, aggressive people or people that are rushing, but it's so different. I joke around and I say, well, it's like meditating when I drive here um, because it's a lot less defensive. You're still aware, but a lot less defensive. <laughs> so anyway, I'm enjoying that. Like, yeah, I'm just not going to listen to anything other than you know, source, higher self, I am present, just inviting that and inviting Archangel Michael to be with me uh, while I drive. I'm just inviting all of those beautiful circles, everything. And so the route I was guided to take actually wouldn't let me turn left on the main road that I need to get to Trader Joe's. So I say, okay, no worries. I'm just going to have a sip of water. So I turn right and then I look for the first uh, street that I can turn left in and then basically do a big U-turn to go in the direction that I need to, to get to Trader Joe's. And I crack up immediately because the first left that I have is Ascension Avenue. And I've had quite a few experiences with this street since being here where I am. I've been here like eight months now. So of course this is on the main drive, this Ascension Avenue. So I pass by it all the time and it's always giving me new codes I'm always cracking up um, at the symbolism that's being displayed you know in the experience so this is the first time that I actually went all the way down this road um, I was really surprised there's a lot of traffic on this little offshoot and I was like god what the hell because I had to just keep going and the road started to get like full of potholes and oh my god you know more of an off-roading experience unexpectedly and I'm cracking up because again, I've never gone this far down this road. It's like, you're only drawn down as far as you're ready for. And so I've had experiences sitting and taking pictures of the street sign, Ascension Avenue, and then cracking up because there's one of those caution signs that says dead end. And that would always just make me chuckle. I think, yeah, the dead end is the Ascension process. Everything is taking us into evolution. You know, the new light and all of all of the magic coming down it's like yeah like there's no other way to go you either leave the planet um or continue on with evolution or maybe leaving is your evolution but it's so funny so that's as far as I've gone with this street is just receiving the first layers of it so to go all the way down the street and it just keeps going and there's no way for me to turn around yet and I'm just kind of like oh my god and there's potholes and all this stuff and then finally I get to the end and I'm able to just back out and come back around. But going back through all that again with the potholes and having to really get into like race car driver mode um, <laughs> of trying to steer around the potholes and uh, other things so that the car wouldn't be injured. And I'm just cracking up and realizing I've got to share this. I've got to document this because... <laughs> there's so many layers to this, you know, on the journey, on the path, we're taken to where we're supposed to go and to be. Um, we have a goal of just a quick zipping around U-turn 
right? That was my my goal, my ego's goal and, and grasping. And then it was actually, no, you're going to go like way far down here and there's a lot of traffic and it's kind of weird. And then there's potholes and you got to look. And then there's really interesting characters on the side of the road that who knows what they're doing. It looks a little dubious, like feels a little dubious, but whatever, you know, just keep going forward and then you'll get to your goal to turn around. <laughs> <laughs> and they may be fraught with potholes, you know, so to be tender, be mindful, be slow, be strategic, like you guys, so much code in the everyday experience. So I just want to share that because there's definitely a lot right now that can make us feel up and down and all around and uh, the astrology, there's a lot going on with the moon. So it's a very emotional time, uh, but it's also a wheel of fortune and so much magic for those who ask and believe. Uh, so yeah, definitely a lot of ups and downs and things not going the way we want and having to continue to adapt. And uh, the last piece of this codex I want to share with you guys is the Tao and flowing with the Tao. And that's come in very strongly as a message for us and my family this last week is, you know, continue to flow with the Tao and keep your heart open. And just knowing that there's not really no's in our reality experience. There's not really a no which, you know, can sometimes that whole thing of no, it could feel like rejection, it could feel like abandonment. Um, you know, yeah, it brings up pain when we get a no. And so working through that, then you start to see, well, there's not really a no per se, it's a redirect, it's a redirect of the energy. So when something, you know, doesn't go a certain direction that we have seen or envisioned or have attachment to, the more we can pull back our resistance, obviously go through it, go through whatever you have in the moment, you'll be done when you're done and you'll know. So don't resist even that. Don't resist resistance, right? And flow with the Tao. And the energy is going to take you. It's going to redirect you. It's going to take you where you want to go. It just may not be how you initially saw it or have attachments to. So it's focusing on the essence qualities of the dream, of your prayers, your vision, your goals. I think a lot of us have some really big goals of what we want to create and co-create, collaborate. There's so much magic with new earth and so much possibility. And so we're just holding that essence of the vision and the dream and the details will keep coming in. Um, and then to just keep your heart open because that keeps you creative, grateful, balanced, perceptive, tuned in with your abilities. The more heart-centered we can be in this process, more and more of our abilities are getting kicked on. It's just such an exciting time. Ah, so flowing with the Tao, flowing with this process with our eye on the prize, you know, heart on the prize, um, which is the calling, the soul calling, the mission, the vision, the dream, the co-creation, all of this magic. So, yep, I <laughs> just wanted to share how making sure that you prioritize the open heart shifts your entire experience um, and you get an immediate feedback with your experience in your universe when you go out and about with other people street signs animals like i've had some wonderful experiences with a hawk and a crow today flying over my head uh, just being open to the communication of the divine messages so i just wish you all a wonderful day i'm so excited um, the next piece i'm working on to share with you all is an activation um, working with the birds uh, the winged ones the bird tribe and really taking a beautiful heartfelt feeling sensing in to the magic that the birds bring um, as they weave in the mornings and in the nights for us with their song and really thinking and realizing feeling in like what are they doing what are they doing for us energetically the birds the bird song during patterns of the day they're weaving so it's a form of grid work it's really beautiful it's like lullaby kind of pure magic so I'm really excited. I'm going to get to working on that when I uh, come home today from Trader Joe's. So keep your eyes out for that. Grid working, magic, soul, heart, communication, music uh, with the birds. And I will see you soon. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs> All right. Bye.